You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, reality TV fans. This is Rachel from SoapDirt.com, and we have got a little tidbit on Amy Slayton to share with you today. We're going to talk about Amy Slayton's criminal history. Now, she doesn't seem like some sort of criminal mastermind, but she does, in fact, have a criminal record, including a mugshot, fingerprints, a court conviction. But what's really surprising is the nature of the crimes she committed to earn this criminal record. Now, this story comes straight from Amy Slayton herself, who confessed to what she did and offered up warnings for people not to repeat the mistakes that she has made. So let's take a quick look and see exactly what she's done. Now, anyone who's currently following Thousand Pound Sisters and Amy Slayton will know that she might be facing another date in court soon. And that time, it won't be criminal court, but it could be divorce court. Rumor has it that she has split from Michael Halterman and is now a single mom raising their two kids. This is all interesting because we know that Tammy Slayton is out of rehab, out of Ohio, back in Kentucky. She had originally planned to move in with Amanda Halterman, their sister who herself just got a divorce, but then it looks like things got messy because Tammy was delayed getting out of the hospital, but she is posting TikTok videos and stuff from her new place, so she is definitely home and perhaps she and Amy are roomies again, because in the pictures and videos we've seen, Amy and the boys are there. So Amy soon faces another date in court if she and Michael press on with this and actually file for divorce. Now, back to Amy Slayton's criminal record. She was arrested back when she was in her early 20s. Six years ago, Amy actually did a video about her arrest confessing what she did and talking about the crime and the punishment. It's a very interesting video. Also interesting is that Amy is a lot heavier in this video. This was pre-surgery. She's a lot thinner now, even having two kids and not exactly staying on her diet. She's still a whole lot thinner. This is pre-marriage and pre-kids that all this happened. So Amy explained that the arrest occurred in 2010. She had recently quit her job. Her grandfather had just died, and she said, everything was going bad for me. Now, we all know how it is to go to the store when you're not feeling well and to do some retail therapy. Unfortunately, Amy Slayton was broke, and she was in Walmart, and there was something that she wanted. Now, when you think about what would Amy Slayton steal from Walmart, especially back then when she was, you know, heavier, you might think, I don't know, a box of Twinkies, not being mean, but we know she loves her junk food or a six pack of sodies. They love their sodies or maybe an outfit, a piece of jewelry. But no, what's really bizarre is what Amy stole. She stole a book. That's right. A book. She doesn't seem like she's a big reader, but she said that I really wanted this book. I'm going to try to steal it. So she confessed that she slipped the book into her purse and then she walked out of the store. But there was a security sensor in the book. So when she walked out, you get that alarm. Probably everybody that's been to a Walmart at some point has walked out and the chime has gone off because it they don't always get all the sensors off. The smart thing for her to probably have done would be to have to keep walking like everybody does when that goes off. Whether you're stealing or not, you don't want to deal with Walmart security. But guy came over from Walmart, an employee, and asked her if she stole anything. She says she said no. And when he wanted to search her purse, she said okay. Well, obviously, the stolen book was in her purse. He found it, and then Amy lied and said she had bought it at a different store. So then the Walmart security people go look at the footage, and they find footage of her slipping it into her purse. So that's it. Then they call the police on her, and she said, interestingly, that the Walmart employee who had 
confronted her and then looked at the video, said, if you hadn't lied to me about stealing it, I probably would have just let it go. I probably wouldn't have called the cops. But because she lied, he decided she can't get away with this warning. He's going to call the police. What's also interesting is she texted her mom, Darlene Rednauer, and told her that she had been arrested and was going to jail. Amy says that the security office that she was in, because she was in the employees only section of Walmart, was at the back, and then she had to walk through the store. So that sounds just like a horrible walk of shame because she's been arrested, the police are coming, she's been busted for something really stupid, but she just wasn't thinking real clearly in the moment. So she said that she doesn't, <laughs> the mugshot isn't too bad because she was skinnier then. And we've got the mugshot here in the video for you. If you're listening to the podcast, you need to come look at the article or the video on Soap Dirt's YouTube channel. Amy confessed that they tossed her in the drunk tank at the police station and she had to wait two hours for her mom, Darlene, to come get her. And that doesn't sound too fun, being in a drunk tank. She was in her mid-20s at the time, just for a frame of reference. So then she had to go to court, and they assessed her with court costs and a fine. It totaled to $400. Amy said the book that she stole retailed for 8 bucks. So that's a lesson right there for you kids. If you steal, you're going to end up paying 50 times more than that item cost. She said she felt really bad about it, so the cost was emotional, and she just feels guilty. But she also says she learned her lesson, and she never did anything like that again. Amy said, be advised, if you're a little kid and you're watching this, there are consequences. One of the biggest consequences, in addition to paying the $400 fine, is that Amy was slapped with a two-year ban from Walmart. Now, if you live in a small town like Amy was at the time, you might know that a lot of times that's the only store around. There might be that. There might be a Dollar General. In the South, sometimes it's like the only place to get what you need is at a Walmart. And when you've been hit with a two-year ban, that's bad news. That basically means that your license to shop has been revoked. So Amy said that she always learns from her mistakes and that this was a big mistake. Amy also insists that she's never stolen anything again and said she never will again. But she also admits that she has a past, that she learns from it, and she doesn't think her past should be an issue. And she addressed the fact that all the fans have probably seen her mugshot online because it was dug up, but you know, she's walking away from this with her head held high because she definitely seems to have learned her lesson. Right now, as we mentioned before, and as we've reported at Soap Dirt, she is single momming to Gage Dion Halterman and Glenn Allen Halterman, her two sons that were born November 2020 and July 2022, and is currently, reportedly, separated from Michael Halterman. Now, if you're watching thousand pound sisters every week you'll know that there are some problems there she was very upset with michael when he was tossed out of the hospital room while she was in labor with glenn but that wasn't his fault because he had covid however when you look at scenes subsequent to that at family gatherings and this and that they generally show michael sitting with a plate of food relaxing and enjoying himself while Amy is balancing at least one crying kid and one of her sisters or her brother is balancing another crying kid, but Michael's not stepping into parent and that's going to be a big deal as the season progresses. So keep watching the TLC show. Let us know about your love for Thousand Pound Sisters and come back to Soap Dirt to check for more articles and news about Tammy Slayton and Amy Slayton. Thanks. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.